It always comes to this. Hello there guys, back again to do another tattoo progress update. Took a week off the tattoo journey uh, recently and I did a little side video about all of my um, tattoo and piercing flaws. If you haven't checked it out, uh, yeah, you can go have a look at that if you want. It was a bit of a different video. I've had a few requests to do more videos like that. Um, namely, I had someone ask me to do kind of a a background video, like a one-off of kind of what inspired me and different like music that I'm into and things like that. It, if you'd like to know more about uh, the the person behind Ephemeral Remy, um, let me know in the comments and uh, I might be able to do a video like that. Um, a little bit of a deep dive on just exactly who I am um, behind the tattoos and piercings because there's a lot more to me than that. People, people ask a lot um, if if this is all that I do and this is all that I am because it's all I talk about on social media. And it's like I have a very focused purpose in social media, and I have a very um, I have a very deep um, a deep desire to spread body mod awareness and um, also show what's possible with blackout tattoos now and. Uh, kind of dispel some myths and uh so i do a lot of talking about that stuff i don't really feel like people are very interested in what i do um in my free time and how i unwind but if there is a desire for that uh i can definitely do some videos on um kind of what i like as well on the side anyway i won't yammer too much more um this week rick and i had a, a pretty extensive tattoo session uh, we had taken a week off, so I think uh, two weeks without um, working together was enough to recharge our batteries because we had a really, really good session this last week. And it started out, I was kind of thinking it wasn't going to be a great session. We started out doing some of the old, uh, some of the old tricks where um, Rick wanted to redo the black because the black had uh, faded a little bit and uh, I wasn't into that. Uh, Kevin, the guy I do the React series with, came over and uh, he, he could read me like a book. I gave him a look like I, I couldn't have been eye rolling anymore in my head. But whatever, we ended up having a good session. So I'll just go ahead and show it off. It's a little dry here now. Um, obviously, it's the end of my work day. We had a bit of a long day today, about 10 hours. So I'm getting to this a bit late. This is... Uh, I start my day here around 8.30 and it's uh, it's just after 6.30 now, so I'll, uh, I'll moisturize this when I get home, but this is uh, fully peeled now. Um, I got it done on Monday, I'm making this video, it's Friday, but this thing was, it had started peeling Wednesday evening, so uh, Wednesday morning when I got up and got cleaned up, I could see the skin was already real tight. Like it had that tight kind of shiny look to it. And uh, I could tell it was it was gonna peel Wednesday. <laughs> so within two days it had started peeling. Now I'll get back to that in just a minute, but uh, I I love this. I really love this. Um, there, was, there was a few things that we tried different this time. I'll get into that as well. But uh, I, I just love this overall. It's not exactly what it's going to be, um, but this is one of the best sessions I've had in a long time. It was incredibly painful, which I'll also elaborate on. But just for the second, I really want to say I am very, very happy with this, how it came out, the amount of detail we got in there. It's almost like a color realism piece now. Um, and I've been looking at this a lot thinking this is probably the direction that um, my arms are going to go in. They're going to be very colorful, which is funny because I had a really colorful suit and then I blacked it out and now I'm going back into color. So while I've got this uh, armpit up, this uh, rather gross looking armpit up with uh, the teeth and the, the, the snot and 
you know, the tongues, split tongue. Um, I will say that uh, for this session, we did almost four hours in this armpit. So we started around uh, 11 and we got done just before three. And it was pretty well just solid tattoo in the whole way. Like there was almost no breaks. Rick relined everything. He re-blacked everything. The first two hours was just black and it was kind of gross and nauseating because I was thinking he was gonna, he was gonna cut it off at the end of the black and say, yeah, yeah, we'll get back in there in three weeks. We'll get all the highlights and kind of put me off. And so when I, when I'd seen him doing the black again, I was thinking, man, we've done the black in here twice already. Like, let's not do the black again. Like we did it with dynamic and then we did it with Panthera. So, and, and they had to be lined both in dynamic and Panthera. So I've had something like four sessions on this armpit, um, just the new work. So that was the ninth time I've had this armpit done. Again, I've had this armpit done nine times as well. So it's not that I mind getting my armpit worked on. It's just, I really want to get to the highlights. I really want to get to the, the white and the color and all that. Anyway, yeah, we, uh, we did a different red this time as you can even see here and here. Obviously this is this is fresh, fresher, not fresh. This is about, what, two months, I would say. Yeah, two months old. Or this is from December. And these were never as bright because we did them earlier and we've learned a lot um, since we've done them. So we'll probably end up hitting these again. But anyway, uh, this is just uh, nebula red. Like these were just nebula red, still pretty red. This is a uh, velvet red mixed with nebula red to give more texture and he wanted them to be a different color. Um, obviously we used, uh, I think he used smoke. He started using a different silver to try it out. It's called um, uh, intense smoke. And we were using um, in just his fusion white mixed with it and the white. And then there is two different types of green in here, believe it or not. And they didn't heal especially well. I think it's probably because um, they were too deep. The greens were more like a subtle kind of, um, almost like a yellowy green. So he's already said the next time that he does, um, he does the other side, he's gonna try a brighter green. So I'm just gonna adjust the camera so I'm not stepping up like a maniac all the time here. So anyway, yeah, I tried, uh, it was, um, earth green and jade green in the uh the snot or the the slime here around the tongue just to differentiate it from the white and as you can see there's a bit of a green yellow shine to it but um even when he first did it it wasn't super super there like it wasn't super vibrant and he didn't want it to be his intention is for it to go kind of a yellowy green but it was impossible to say how much um how much of that was um, how much of that was blood tinge when we were doing it because anyone who's saturated white uh, will know or like any uh, bright color or faint color a light blue a light yellow whatever the blood will immediately color it and it's hard to tell what color it's going to be kind of until it settles you just have to trust it and obviously there's no way to trust it when we've never done it before and you're working on black on black or color on black where you really have no good way of knowing what that's going to end up looking like. So we just had to wait and see how it would heal. That's just how that, that goes. Um, it's our first try with uh, green or yellow on black. So um, not too disappointed. More just thrilled to be doing experimental stuff. And I mean, I've been living in that. Like I've been living in that reality now for a couple years of I want to try everything and I'm excited to try all different things. I'm not worried about things not working out. I just want to try everything. Like I, I want to try every color eventually. So, and especially because as we get closer to doing this chest piece, which I want to do full color, um, it's good to be taking these risks and trying these things. And even if it's just a slight difference from the, the white, the coloration of this, it's still enough to make it distinct. It's still enough to pull things apart. And it's still enough to know that these are different parts of the tattoo. So, and man, like if it can stay anywhere near this good, we got it. Like we've got this thing figured out and we can really do whatever we want with this. 
So anyway, next week we're going to be over here. Um, in this armpit, we're going to do more or less the same thing, but as I said, probably brighter greens. Um, and then the same velvet and uh, nebula red in there. And obviously the white. We probably, I will say probably, because God knows Rick has redone the black in these enough. I'm hoping that he won't need to touch the black, but... We might end up doing some of the black too. I really hope we won't need to, because if we don't need to, then we can we can either have a shorter session or we can get some other stuff done too. So yeah, anyway, that'll be the next thing I show off. I'll get into, uh, yeah, that was one of the grossest sessions I've ever had probably because uh, I've never had that long of a session on my armpit and it wasn't that it was especially painful in the actual tattooing itself, but having my arms up like this, like a real good stretch, like this position, and also having Rick pressing down with one hand or like part of his hand and tattooing with the other, keeping your arm up like that, stuck leaning like this for hours on end. That's the longest I've done that for an armpit tattoo. And it wasn't my armpit that was super sore after, it was my elbows and my shoulders were just like, they were messed for days. Like I had to work the next day at my other job. And uh, yeah, it was it was tough going. Not, well, not because my armpit was so sore, but yeah, just my shoulder and my elbow were just, were just kinked up. And that's sometimes more painful than the tattoo itself. It's something I've never brought up here, but some of the positions you get in um, while you're getting tattooed are just so uncomfortable for so long and like that was definitely a really and I had to really help him out because so I'm up like this so I, I want to get that stretch as good as I can and I want to assist him with it because some of these areas are so hard to saturate and I want to say if we can do this here man when we finally get to my arms we're cakewalking like man it's going to be another level because this is some of the hardest stuff to work on like it's, it just swell, swells up right away in here. And while it's not the worst thing for me to sit for, I, I do, my heart goes out to him having to work on these terrible areas every week and it must get exhausting. Um, that being said, as I said, I was uh, starting to peel Wednesday evening. My coworkers in here, my, my like the tattooers in here, um, they're all starting to call me Wolverine because like who's, peeling in two days like it doesn't happen often i used to think like when i used to get tattooed a couple times a week and, and i'm getting there again um i would be peeling within four days five days and that was still i thought pretty quick then or at least fast average these days i'm 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 pretty close to healed in three days like fully they're not fully. I always say fully and people laugh like, oh man, that's not fully healed. No tattoos healed in a week. You know what I mean? The initial peel, like it's completely done now. And uh, it was pretty well done three days in. Anyway, yeah, it got pretty, it did get pretty painful. Obviously the skin was really swollen and the armpit sweats and it's and it's just sticky in there and just gross. And yeah, it was just a really rotten kind of feeling. But uh, I, I was game to go eight hours if you wanted to. So, and I always am. So I was really happy to do that whole thing and finally get that armpit done because it feels like it's been in motion. It has been in motion for a year. I think the first time we lined this was uh, about a year ago now. So um, it'll be nice to get the other one done and to feel like we're getting somewhere with this. and. I know I've been I've been talking about you know I don't mind take this taking forever but it's nice seeing it's nice seeing getting closer to that that goal line and I'm um, seeing some of the stuff that we've been talking about and thinking about for a long time get to that finish line is a great feeling um, yeah otherwise yeah I've got three tattoo sessions next week I have two with Terry and I have uh, I have one with Rick and I'm pretty sure I've gotten into a little bit of what I'm doing up next with uh terry but i will be uh redoing these roses on my temples so they're going to be uh white and black redoing we're going to again go over the red with uh white ink like lee and i did back in 2019 and uh we may end up doing another two passes on that i'm pretty sure i can get these almost black and gray 
but it's just gonna be a matter of doing the work. And now that I'm working with two artists again, it opens up that uh, potential to, you know, pick off some of the little things that have been irking me over the years that I just haven't been focusing on. Cause again, I've just been working with Rick and Rick and I have had our hands full with the main project. So it's good to have Terry in the mix now, taking care of some of that stuff and he's happy to do it. And it's, it's a cool experience and learning for him. So it's a mutual benefit. Anyway, I'm uh, rambling a little bit here, but I'll just show that armpit off again. And obviously, um, it may still, parts of this are going to darken, parts of it are going to lighten. I've been over that enough. These things do shift a bit, but uh, the white and black does stay really well. It's all staying really well. So um, I have no good reason to figure that this is going to change that much. And uh, if we can be pulling this off in my armpit, Good Lord, when I get to my sleeves, it's going to be a whole different thing. People aren't going to be ready for the stuff we're doing. Anyway, give this one a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.